Well, it's a custody battle that didn't go too well. A 25-year-old who's still in the missing person database is trying his best to clear his name and his father's name. Jocelyn Person spoke with a 25-year-old, and she joins us in the studio with more. Jocelyn? Brian, 25-year-old Ares Howard is seeking help to be able to travel back to the U.S. Now he and his father can't do so, all because of a custody battle that went too far. This picture of a missing person is Aris Howard. He also goes by Alex. He's been in the missing person database for over 15 years. But the now 25-year-old isn't really missing. He's been unable to leave the Caribbean island, St. Kitts, all because of a battle between his parents that went wrong. Pretty much way back when I was like maybe five or six, my parents divorced, right? And Tennessee has jurisdiction. They go over like custody, all of that. And my mother had full custody, but she kept disobeying the court. One day when Howard visited his mother in Erie, Howard's mom didn't want to send him back to his dad. And that's when... Had to order two police officers to physically remove me from my mother and put me on a plane back to my dad. And then that's where the whole kidnapping... Thing began. Howard says his father missed a court hearing and the judge issued a warrant for his arrest. Things got complicated and Ares was listed in the missing person database. The FBI spent so much money on this case that they don't want to quit. That's why they're still pressuring us and still listing me as internationally kidnapped. Others say it was a custody battle that shouldn't have gone this far. I mean, this is a child's life. He can't do anything without... Somebody go easily Googling his name and his whole life, you know, in turmoil constantly. Dutter is a founder of Project Angel Eyes, a nonprofit that helps with cold missing person cases. She found Ayers Howard's case and she knew she had to reach out. Now, as for Howard, he's trying his best to end his long battle that's impacting his whole life. I need to move on with my life. I need to be able to travel. Like, I think my dad should be able to see his dying mom. In the meantime, the 25-year-old is working as a boat captain while taking classes in the Caribbean island. He hopes this can be cleared very soon before it's too late to say goodbye to his loved ones. To my grandmother, I guess I hope this gets resolved soon. I hope we can visit you before it's too late. Now, we couldn't get in contact with the mother of Eris, but we did speak to his grandmother, and she hopes she's able to see her grandson and son. Brian, back to you.